What caused the boiler to soot? The contractor sent me a picture of the combustion readings and they were nearly perfect with 15% excess air. Industrial boilers with an oxygen trim could have lower levels, but this was a typical residential light commercial boiler. The air temperature was 12 degrees Fahrenheit, so I knew the combustion air was directly vented from the outside. Welcome, friends, to Boiler Room Detective Channel. I'm your host, Ray Wolfhart. Today, we're delving into a fascinating case, why the boiler sorted even though it was seemingly adjusted properly. Join me as we unravel the mystery. Ambient air conditions significantly affect the efficiency and safety of fuel-fired heating systems. Understanding how combustion air temperature and humidity affect boiler efficiency can help operators optimize performance, reduce fuel consumption, and lower emissions. Most boilers are tested using 80 degree Fahrenheit combustion air with a relative humidity of 30%, typical conditions found inside a boiler room. Problems occur when the temperature or humidity changes. If you're in Boston, Massachusetts, you're at sea level and the oxygen percentage in dry air is about 20.9%. If you're in Denver, Colorado, the oxygen percentage is 17.3%. You would need 20% more air in Denver than you would in Boston, Massachusetts. When venting combustion air from the outside directly to the boiler, we are subjecting the boiler or burner to a wide variation of weather conditions. Many people forget that the combustion process is based on oxygen and not necessarily air. The oxygen levels in air varies according to the temperature and barometric conditions. As the air warms, the oxygen content in the air drops. When the air cools, the oxygen level increases. If you remember from high school science class, cold air is denser than warm air, meaning it has more oxygen. A change in barometric conditions also affects the oxygen levels in the air. For example, if it's raining outside, and the humidity is higher, the oxygen levels drop. When the sun comes out and the humidity levels drop, the oxygen level rises. Let's see how this works on your job site. You install a new boiler in August or early September and adjust the air to fuel ratio for 15% excess air or 3% oxygen. The combustion air for the boiler is connected to the outside using a PVC pipe. The outside air temperature is 80 degrees and no rain. Your combustion readings show a stack temperature of 250 degrees Fahrenheit and an efficiency of 84%. As the cold weather moves in, the temperatures drop. When the temperature drops to zero degrees outside, the excess air rises from 15 to 36% or 140% higher. This reduces the boiler efficiency to 83.1 percent. It's less than 1 percent, so it's no big deal, I can hear you say. An industry rule of thumb suggests a 40 degree rise in combustion air temperature results in a 1 percent increase in boiler efficiency. The problem occurs if you have the same teacher as I had. I was taught to always set the boiler air to fuel ratio on the coldest days. This allows the boiler to run longer to get a better reading. When trying to set the combustion on a warm day, the hydronic loop heats quickly or the steam pressure rises and shuts off the boiler. It also takes forever for the loop temperature or pressure to drop and the boiler to restart. We adjust the air to fuel ratio on the coldest days because the loop heats slower and cools quicker. Let's consider a scenario. It's a cold day, the temperature is around zero degrees Fahrenheit. We set the boiler and burner for 15% excess air or 3% oxygen. When the outside air or combustion air temperature rises to 40 degrees, the excess air drops to 4.6% or 1% oxygen. We are perilously close to sooting the boiler and having a dangerous situation. 
as the outdoor air temperature rises to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The excess air is now negative 0.6%. We are definitely sooting and the boiler is dangerous. At 80 degrees outside our air temperature, the burner is operating at a negative 5.8% excess air. You have a real mess to clean up. The other factor affecting the air-to-fuel ratio when using combustion air vented from the outside is humidity. Moisture displaces oxygen in the air, so you would need more air when it's raining than you would when it's dry. It's not much. At no humidity, or 0%, the oxygen level in the air is about 20.9%. If the humidity is 50%, the oxygen level drops 20.5%. At 100% humidity, the oxygen level drops to 20.1. When you combine rising humidity levels and rising temperatures, it could create a bad situation. When I'm adjusting the air to fuel ratio on a boiler or burner with combustion air vented to the outside, I sacrifice efficiency by a percent or two to be sure the boiler is operating with enough combustion air when it's warmer. That's what I suggested to this contractor. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insights into hydronic and steam systems. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below. And I have two additional websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. I have a monthly blog that I post on there. Fireiceheat.com is my company's website. My boiler books are available on Amazon, and my technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.